I'm Simone Warren. I'm Azure Solutions Director at Microsoft, and I'm really, really excited um, to discuss what I consider to be breakthrough innovation, uh, where we've been using Avid uh, to remote edit content, broadcasting content on Azure, on Microsoft Azure. So good morning, Tim. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Um, thank you so much for um, joining me today. So my first question really is about that. Dare I say it, you're a bit of a digital disruptor there, a bit ahead of the curve, Tim. Uh, and it's, it's been exciting to work with you on something that others have only dared to dream about. Uh, so I'd really love to explore with both of you today the whole process of how, first of all, you came up with the idea and then how we took that idea uh, and worked through, worked together to create something that actually became a reality. So over to you, Tim. What inspired you and motivated you to go on this journey? Well, I think, you know, traditionally our industry and our, um, our estate had been replaced every five years and we were in this cycle of, you know, buying the hardware, sweating the asset, and then, you know, doing something with it, recycling it or, you know, um, replacing it with something new. And that was just happening again and again. But we were very much anchored to this hardware and I felt that the, the business was calling out really or our label within ITV was calling out for more facilities and more agility. So what we, we wanted to look at, you know, initially it was during the, the, the COVID pandemic, people needing to use systems remotely uh, and, 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 and enabling that as a starter. And then it sort of um, evolved into do those rooms need to still be there with that equipment whirring away or can we move that equipment somewhere else? So that's the first iteration. Then the next question is, could this be virtualized and could we actually start to subscribe to a service rather than you know, owning something and some hardware being you know, a massive project and upheaval of installation work and months of planning and expense. Um, so we, we really wanted to kind of you know, rip the plaster off and look at that model and see if there was something out there. So we you know, spoke with Avid, we spoke with Microsoft, we did some trials. We then started working with support partners as well and, and engaged with them about our kind of dream scenario, which is really to have some facilities on premise, but a hybrid and some of it somewhere else in a cloud, ideally. Um, <clears throat> that, was, that also answers some of the questions we've been asking for many years about disaster recovery. What happens mm -hmm. if your on-premise system is compromised in some way, or if you wanna do a major upgrade and you need to switch to something else or a move, all of that stuff wasn't really being addressed, but the business said, we kind of need that plan B. So looking at the cloud, looking at the art of the possible, probably a little bit with a, with a platform and a springboard off the back of a global pandemic where mm. technology and science had kind of had helped a lot of people. We suddenly had a, a new voice and a new uh, focus really where people said, okay, why don't you go and try that and then come back to us and report back. Um, and obviously we needed a lot of help around the business. Our own internal teams had to be engaged with this, you know, cybersecurity people, the actual editors themselves had to be on board with the whole concept of you know having something in their house now um, and having something a new work practice and then you know we're still on that journey of finessing all of these tools uh, and, and it will we'll constantly evolve until we get you know that complete sweet spot but it's great that we're even able to have this conversation and say look we have built something we have broadcast some programming live on air now that was fully produced in the cloud <laughs> 